<clears throat> Hello? Just trying my voice. <clears throat> Sorry. Well then, let's begin our story. Once upon a time. They all start with this, so don't judge me. <clears throat> Again. For real this time. Once upon a time, not in the very far Virginia, in a huge mansion called Monticello, lived two girls alone, facing the hardships of life together after both of their parents died. Although their parents were dead, they were still living a luxurious life because of the great works their parents left. Because they were the great and famous third president of the US, Thomas Jefferson, and his faithful wife, Martha Jefferson. Two girls were the president's daughters. Awesome, isn't it? They had it all. If I sound envious, then it's just your imagination. But wait, that's not all there is. The story is yet to begin. The two girls were Patsy, the older sister, and Polly, the younger sister. The older sister was... Hmm, how can I say it politely? Ah, an air-headed idiot. Especially when it comes to men. She was hopeless, so to say. To sum it all short, a long history of bad men. But this last one was different. He was famous and wealthy. They were exactly the same when it came to relationships. Oh, you guessed right. He was an even more hopeless case. He was a lost cause. This bad luck wasn't with women only though. Those two were brought together by their fate of being miserable. This man really admired the girl's father, and when she knew that, she was of course interested. So, they got to know each other and became friends. As time passed by, they fell in love. After a lot of hesitation and investigation, Victor Horta made his big move. Yeah! He finally proposed! Oh, the happy go lucky girl got herself a husband at last. Hooray! If you think I'm envious, it's not your imagination this time. I am. Oh, sorry, I got a little out of track. Please don't mind the miserable me. And please, kindly, read the translation. Finally, our story begins. Why are you so excited? Guess who's getting married? Oh my god! Who is the lucky charm? It's Horta, Victor Horta. Finally? I was wondering when he will take this move. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just that... You can tell me anything. I wish mom and dad were here with me. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom and dad, I wish you guys were here. So, Harta, tomorrow is the big day. How do you feel? Wonderful. I'm marrying the woman of my dreams. Oh? Wait, I hear noises outside. Mom? Dad? What? But how? I don't know, sweetie. It's a miracle. We can't miss our daughter's special day. Makes sense. So, you're the man who wants to marry my daughter. Aren't you Thomas Jefferson? Of course it's me. Weren't you supposed to be dead? I came for Patsy. You are marrying the president's daughter after all. You should know that on the market. Really? You are in my field. Tell me more. 
me, it started since the age of 12. I used to help my uncle in construction sites. As for me, I am one of the authors of American Constitution, and one of the introducers of new classical style in USA, and reflected in an architecture. <laughs> You're really proud of that? I was the first architect to introduce the Art Nouveau in Hotel Tassel. And I've built the house of people that had iron and glass facade. What do you have to say about that? It will be demolished in 1965 because of its uselessness. It will cause a huge chaos in the world of architecture, and over 700 will protest. Whatever, what else? Bring it on. How do you know these things? You're that person whose ashes in the sea now. Don't you dare underestimate dead people. I'm always up to date even with what will happen. I'm a person who stays on his point of view and style until death. But you switched back to using Greek and Roman style after only 10 years of your work. That was shown clearly in the extension of Hotel Venetville. Just like I always tell my daughter. On a matter of principle, stand like a rock. On a matter of style, swim with the current. I'll be awarded the commission for the new Bergman. University Hospital. Such an unlucky person. The war delayed it, as well as the Tonai Museum of Fine Art. Uh. Oh, right. Wasn't most of that building classical design? Also, because the war casualties your so called style, though, you didn't stick with it till the end and was seen too flippant and too expensive. So you no more applied your biomorphic style anymore and returned back to your origins. Classical style, which is the origin of old styles. Calling me unfortunate? Did you forget about the Palais des Beaux-Arts Henri Lebeau Concert Hall that became known as one of the world's greatest auditoriums? Seriously, you are trying to destroy the world. The Second World War broke out and delayed the construction of the Brussels Central Railway Station for 27 years. You will die before you even see that project. Just admit that you are an unfortunate person. When I was born, there was nothing that offered architectural training. All about classics. I became an architect due to my personal efforts, connections, and self moving Your initial design for Monticello was derived from handbooks. No wonder people describe you as a gentleman architect. Nothing more, nothing less. I always look forward the perfect solution and have a great ability to observe and record. Correction, not only observing, recording and looking into details, but overdoing it, boring. What you call overdoing and boring is what helped me later in my life with my design. Books, books. Architecture is not all about books or else it will be plain. You think you are the only one? My Monticello was the first MPV building and also the University of Virginia. Is that so? I hope you didn't forget that I was the one who helped you to introduce the new classical style in the Monticello rather than the Palladian style. Another thing, all your designs were built by the slaves you inherited. Without them, you're nothing. All your buildings will be out of age, while mine will still be useful in the future. Enough. Petsy, no marriage. What? Of all men, and she decided to marry this rude idiot. Only two of our six children survived to adulthood. And you want to take away one of their dream men? I cannot let Patsy marry that Zero Horta. He's not worthy. He is Victor Horta. If he isn't worth, then who is? Not him. Oh, come on, Thomas. We were young and in love too. This is different. He's an idiot. While you're smart, kind. You are an idiot and I still married to you. <laughs> and you still love me. Do you remember what triggered our love? How can I forget? Come on, music always calms you down.
<laughs> Amazing. I will take my leave. Since childhood, I had interest in music. I was even in conservatoire. What happened then? I was expelled for bad behavior. I figured so. Do you know that music is what made me like Art Nouveau? How is that? Art Nouveau patterns look like music notes. It does, doesn't it? But now, what inspires me the most is your daughter. Please, Mr. Jefferson, don't take her away from me. I promise I will do everything I can to grant her happiness. And who am I to deny her happiness? Thank you! Doesn't deserve a girl like Patsy. But neither did I deserve a woman like you. So I will give him a chance. I'm so glad you kept your promise and didn't marry another woman. How could I? Your death almost killed me. Ten years with you were just not enough. Well, we have eternity. Finally. So, what did I miss? Nothing much. I just became the president of the USA. I knew you could do it. Don't you dare upset our daughter, or we will come back to hunt you. Don't worry, Polly. We'll come back again for your wedding. 